This video provides some notes for an Agra's drone to execute tasks on fruit trees, including 1. Preparations before takeoff and selection of takeoff and landing points, 2. Task parameter settings, and 3. Notes for task execution along three dimensional routes. 1. Preparations before takeoff and selection of takeoff and landing points. Since agricultural drones carry a heavy load when operating on fruit trees, safety inspections should be carried out during site selection, takeoff, and landing, including checking the agricultural drone status and planning the takeoff and landing points to achieve an intelligent route for greater efficiency. First, check whether the battery is fully charged. A battery level above 80% at takeoff is recommended. Then, verify that the filter at the bottom of the spray tank is not blocked and the water outlet is securely fastened. Add some clean water, clear the trapped air, and try spraying to check if the sprinkler works properly. If the start point of the route is far from the takeoff and landing points, reduce the load appropriately. Set the takeoff and landing points at the center of the orchard. Points with higher terrain are preferred, where water and power should be easily accessible, with open space around and no obstacles above. This is because taking off and landing at the center of the orchard can increase the area coverage, and accessible water and power allow convenient pesticide preparation and battery charging. Higher terrain with open space around can avoid signal blockage issue. Ensure stable communication between the remote controller and the drone, and allow a good field of view to observe the real-time status of the drone. If there are unavoidable obstacles, it is recommended to use DJI Relay and set them up according to the instructions to ensure a stable video transmission signal. 2. Task Parameter Settings The task parameters of agricultural drones should be set based on the growth status of fruit trees. Reasonable task parameter settings can guarantee the efficiency and efficacy of the task. Preventive measures should be prioritized in fruit tree management to avoid diseases and pests. That is, the measures should be taken before any issues arise as handling it post-outbreak can be costly, minimally effective, and potentially result in decreased yield. In this regard, comprehensive consideration should be made by also taking into account the prevention and treatment timing, environmental factors, pesticide types, etc. If the fruit trees are sparse and young with small crowns, the application rate should be reduced. If the fruit trees are dense and mature with large crowns, the application rate should be increased. The task parameters can be set based on the application rate or flow rate. To simplify the pesticide calculation, you are advised to set the parameters in standard mode by pesticide amount per hectare, which is generally 60 to 225 liters hectare. In targeted and custom modes, calculate per time unit instead, which is generally 5 to 15 liter per minute. Flying the agricultural drone at a slower speed can effectively bring the pesticides into the tall and dense crops due to the wind field generated. However, for short and sparse crops, the flight speed can be appropriately increased to improve application efficiency. The recommended flight speed is 1 to 3.5 meters per second. A too low flight height can result in uneven distribution of spray droplets and potential damage to thin and small trees. An excessive flight height, however, can reduce the amount of droplets reaching the trees and increase the droplet drift. This can result in reduced droplets deposition in the middle and lower parts of the trees. A flying height of 2.8 to 5 meters is recommended for these kinds of trees. For the standard mode, you are advised to reduce the root spacing to 3 to 4 meters to ensure the application effect. For the custom mode, if the diameter of the tree crown exceeds 5 meters, setting two roots evenly above the tree crown is recommended. For the targeted mode, if the tree crown is large, two or more tree centers should be identified. Considering that fruit trees are generally large in size, fine spray droplets allow more even distribution throughout the entire fruit tree, thus improving application effectiveness. Therefore, it is recommended to use droplets smaller than 100 microns when the wind speed is low and increase the droplet size accordingly when there is a breeze. Task execution along three-dimensional routes. For task execution in mountainous orchards with complex terrain, the remote controller may be disconnected from the drone. When flying a three-dimensional route for the first time, you are advised to select hover upon a signal lost. In this case, 
the remote controller should quickly approach the drone while avoiding any obstacles in between to restore the connection. If the route has been proven to be safe in earlier flights, you can enable continue task on signal loss to allow the drone to continue the task when it is disconnected from the remote controller, improving task execution efficiency. When you plan a three-dimensional route, it is important to confirm that the drone will not bump into any obstacles or enter the obstacle detection state on the route. In addition, try your best to prevent the agricultural drone from climbing on steep slopes, which may also cause the drone to enter the obstacle detection state. For complex terrain, when flying a three-dimensional route for the first time, it is recommended to operate in conditions with good lighting and use the FPV camera to observe the situation ahead. If any obstacles are detected, you can suspend the task with the control stick. If the drone enters the obstacle detection state, follow the prompt message displayed in the upper right corner of the screen to exit the state, and then use the return point to bypass the obstacles manually.